fight and scratch and battle and leave it all on the field tonight. There's no tomorrow. It's been good for winning the kickoff. Indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 34. The Browns will start this drive at the 34 yard line. Short throw to the left. Tackle is made by Matthew. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. Gets the ball away. Comes down with it. Aaron Kentman is there to bring him down. The defense just didn't match up well on that one. Yeah, top to match up one on one and man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Throws it short. Drops the easy. They'll face second down and ten. Ball on the 39. Here's the throw. He's there for the catch. Charles Wilson makes the tackle. He got that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. He goes up high for the catch. They get him down, but it's going to be a first and goal for the Browns. The Browns are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. Straight ahead for the fullback. Yeah. The Browns get him to the end zone first. Great job by the big man up front there. It was simply patient running behind him. Good block. See if the offense can put something together on this run. Great, the ball came. Hit hard at the 29. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive line to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Rodgers will hand it off. The stop was made by Sean Rodman. Grant gains about two yards on the run. Sack! And that sack will bring up a fourth down as the offense couldn't get anything going on next year. Good teamwork that time on the part of this defensive line. The blockers just could not get the job done. Look to build momentum by getting another touchdown on this series. They'll go to work at the 45. He tries to scramble. Pass is complete. Everybody knows about this guy's arm strength, and if you wanted to see an example of it, right there it was. Throws short. Cuts back and he's dropped. 
Now, he didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Still moving. He needs to get rid of it. at some point, and that was a big somebody in the backfield that time able to escape and stuck it in for the touchdown. Looks like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Coach Eric Mangini is going to have a little check for the referee over the last play. Dawson has the extra point. Here's your sprint drive summary. This offense really needs to get something going in this series. A game like this can quickly get out of hand, but before you know it, you have to get away from that game plan and start taking more chances. Hands it to the back. Runs over tackle. Oh, it was there, Brendan Bain. Eight yards on the pickup. That'll bring up second down. He's down the sideline. And this one looks like it's going to come back. football for the defense and if you've ever been in the bottom of one of those pilots like that you know that anything goes. They'll start for the 27 yard line. Crosses it out. Stays on his feet. A seven yard game, and that will bring up second down. With one of the books for this Super Bowl, our score is the Browns 14, the Packers nothing. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Dumps it out right. The Browns get another good gainer that time. This offense is finding early success in the passing game. Saw the coverage there, simply had to go to the next receiver. He didn't make the right move. Gets away. He's there for the catch. It just goes to show that you don't have to be the fastest guy in the football field to get open. That time, some physical play getting off the line of scrimmage, a good quick cut, and he gets it in for the touchdown.
Williams takes it from the 10. Gets to about the 24. The Packers are looking to dig themselves out of this big hole that they dug themselves into, and at the very least, you have to show the guys on the other bench you're not going to roll over. He needs to make a decision. Boys knocks it away. Boys have the coverage on the play. Here's the pass. And he caught it. The Packers have been facing a pretty stiff pass defense so far. Well, they haven't been getting too much on their completions, but that time, a big play, and that's exactly what they needed. Dumps it out left. Good job by the offense that time. Really nothing there down the field. It just takes a little completion and keeps moving the ball. Passes it. He leaves. It's caught. The Packers, well, maybe did kick started a little bit after that catch. Their passing game hasn't exactly been very impressive so far. He throws right. What a catch! The stop was made by Duell Jackson. Jenkins has now caught 50 passes on the season. Sack number two on the day here, and you can see his confidence growing. There comes a point in the game sometimes when you're playing against somebody that you just know you're better than that guy. And right now, the confidence is growing leaps and bounds. Pretty obvious passing situation here after the sack. Third down, 14 yards to go. Passes the ball. Well, Jackson was there one time. The Packers are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Hit on the pass. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. a special play right there. You see these great athletes on occasion, the ball is thrown up, and it's just a jump ball, go get it kind of situation, and he went up and made a great play there. Those are the kind the quarterbacks don't soon forget. Yeah, he really didn't have an opportunity to break that one, but at least he was able to get enough for the first down and move the chains. The Packers have a bunch of short completions, but they're not getting yards after the catch right now. And that's because the defense is playing them very tight and making good, solid tackles. He did get back to the You've got to give the defense a lot of credit on that one. They made a little fraction into the line of scrimmage, and they had that play tag right from the start. Donald Lincoln is the intended receiver on the play. It's fourth down, and they'll attempt the field goal. This one is going about 36 yards out. And it looks like we have a flag down on the play. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. It's fourth down. This one will be from 56 yards out. It's no good. Now 
They'll set up shop at the 36-yard line. Gets the pass out. There for the reception. Bishop was there to bring him down. The Browns are picking up nice yardage just about every time they go to the air. I'm not sure what's happening with the defense right now, but they seem a little out of sorts. Lewis on the run. Atari Bigby makes the tackle. Lewis gets seven yards on the play. Frozen. He's wide open. And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. Now he's scrambling. Makes the kick. The Browns are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. For the agents for the players on the other side because everybody's going to get a better contract after this one. I don't think coming into this game that anyone would have imagined this kind of a start. Dawson packs all the extra ball. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Cleveland will kick it deep. Williams and Blackman look ready to return this one. Taken at the five. He gets to the 26. The Packers have had a long day so far, and if they don't make something happen on this series, well, we're going to see these players getting more and more frustrated. Hands it off. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Martin was there on the tackle. Time for a short break as we send you to the studio for stats and highlights. Thanks, Tom. We hope you guys have been enjoying the action. Take a look at some of the top plays from the first half of your game. Taking a look at the stats from your game now, each team had an equal number of chances in the first half. Coleman has registered two sacks. Cleveland is on top, 28-0. Welcome back to Miami. Drop at the 28 yard line. The Browns will set up shop at the 28 yard line. He tries to scramble. 
Marco Island was on second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. So they'll face a second and ten, ball on the 28 yard line. He scrambles around. Clay Matthews makes the tackle. Third and ten. Now he's scrambling. Throws it. Brings it in. The Browns have been unstoppable when they go to the pass. You'd think the defense would make some kind of adjustment at halftime, but so far that just doesn't seem to be the case. He scrambles away. Gets the pass away. Steve Orms. And he's brought down. Jackson has now caught 80 passes on the season. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 39 yard line. He's scrambling. Throws it deep to the end zone. Drops the sewer pick. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. So they'll face a second and ten. They're going to pitch it. And he will lose yardage on the play. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, at that time he uses athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Gets away. There for the catch. The Browns are continuing to find success throwing the ball. The pass protection is solid, and the defense with a very conservative approach playing off these receivers, allowing them to get open. Still moving. Barely gets that one. Great pressure that time to force that off-target throw. You know when you're bringing pressure, you're going to leave somebody open down the field. You just have to hope you get there before that quarterback finds it. The pocket is collapsing. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. Now he's scrambling. And he's hit as he throws. That was made by Nick Collins. The Packers weren't going to go the entire game without uh, that guy catching at least one ball. But so far, they've done a pretty good job of containing him here today. He's scrambling. To the end zone. Edwards hits him for six. Wait, no signal yet. It is going to be six points. Just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful. Dawson is good on the point out. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Williams fields it at the 17. He takes it back with a 29 yard line. They'll set up shop at the 29 yard line. And 
they got him. The Brian Lewis are giving no trouble giving the quarterback trade. Yeah, they really are. Uh, this is uh, the fourth sack of the game now, and uh, I tell you, this quarterback can't take much more. Short throw to the runner. He leaves. It's caught. Now, I like going with the play action pass in that situation. They caught the defense cheating a little bit, completed it for a good pickup. situation, but that's exactly what they did. Throws it short, and it's completed. The Browns passing game continues to impress. There's almost no resistance when they try and throw the ball. It seems like they're getting 10 to 15 yards every time. away in the traffic and it's picked off. Still pushing. Touchdown Packers. You know some defensive players you don't want to throw it in their zone because it might get intercepted. Some guys you absolutely don't want to throw it there because they can turn it into a touchdown going the other way. and try to turn it around on this series. The Browns will begin this drive at the 26 yard line. The defense has him surrounded. Throws it out. Comes in with Williams makes the tackle. Edwards with his fourth catch of the game. He scrambles around. He's there for the catch. The puzzle for the wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense. Set him up for the play, come back with the exact same look and break off of the next beautiful run. And the defense has a heavy rush. That pass put him over 300 yards for the game. And this offensive line's been getting it done with pass protection. I don't care who you have playing quarterback. If that guy is back there getting hit, it is awfully tough to throw for 300 yards. And the pass is incomplete. Second down now, following the incomplete pass. Gets the ball away. Bad everywhere. They can't hook up all the pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. That brings up third and ten. He throws short, and it's knocked down. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down, but you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth down. He scrambles away. 
He catches another. A.J. Hawk is there to bring him down. Will Bisky makes his third catch of the game. Coach Eric Mangini throws his challenge flag, so this one will get another viewing. There's a challenge on the field. The ruling will be reviewed. After the review, they'll keep the ball right for the officials' mark. And how many times do we see that? That it looks like a play that should be challenged. They take a look at it. And then we end up right back in the same spot. These officials are pretty good. They'll give it off here. Sean Rogers was there on the tackle. This play call really didn't make much sense. Now at this point in the game, when you know that not only is the defense working against you, but so is the clock, the one call here probably is not a very good idea. Leaping catch. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Gets to the back. He fights forward to about the 30 before he's wrestled to the ground. That's a three-yard gain. That brings up second down. their own 30-yard line. Here's the throw. Pass is complete. Defensively, they just haven't made the proper adjustment yet as the offense continues to use a four-wide receiver set. Essentially, you've got to get out of that 34 defense because you're asking too much from your safeties and linebackers to cover those runouts. Jones with his fourth catch of the game. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 39. Defense closing in. Law gets his hand on. Jenkins was the intended receiver. They line up at the 39. the pass away, and the receiver has room to run. Poole beats the tackle. I know these linebackers are pretty good for this team, but they're not good enough to cover wide receivers in this four wide receiver set. I'm going to bring some of these smaller fast guys out there for this defense. All kinds of pressure. Moves up. Here's the pass. Big play, tremendous catch there, and you really leave yourself exposed as a wide receiver when you put your arms above the head. But that time he showed a lot of courage going up and getting down. Passes it. He catches it and is tackled immediately. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. Hammered as he lets it go. Great button is there on the tackle. Only gained about four yards on that play, but sometimes as an offense, as long as it's not a negative play, it's a positive Short pass to his left. Touchdown, great play. You get those big tight ends moving vertically down the field, they can be really intimidating for defensive backs. Good pitch and catch there. And before that, good to go. Here's your sprint, Rob Summer. Green Bay will line up for the onside kick. Recover the onside kick. If you play the game long enough, you're going to play in a few games like this on both sides, but on the losing side, it's really tough. Really, at this point, all you can do is not quit. Go out there, keep fighting, and get ready for next week. Passes to his line. Play Matthews makes the tackle. 
Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. He needs to make a decision. He's sacked. So the offense backed up after the sack. Third and 13. Passes the ball. Falls incomplete. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Blackman gets back deep to return. Down in the end zone for a touchdown. They'll start at the 20-yard line. The defense has him surrounded. He's there for the catch. The stop was made by Eden. But I don't it was fourth catch of the game. Passes it out. Cameron Whitley is there all the time. Pretty tough assignment for a 34 defense to try and cover four wide receivers. Typically here, you end up bringing in extra defensive backs to help against these wide receivers. He's pushed down after 40 by Jackson. They hurry to the line. And they're coming after it. Backs it away. Well, Jackson was defending on the play. Gets the pass out. And he caught it. Donald Driver takes his third catch of the game. And the pass falls incomplete. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked out. Not a good decision at all there. He throws right. There for the reception. That's part speed and part anticipation by this defensive unit. They're always in great position, and you'll rarely see them get burned on passes like this. He steps up. He's tackled at the 24 yard line. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. Makes the catch. That's going to wrap up the action. Highlights are straight ahead. score is the Browns 35, the Packers 14. This one could have been a lot closer if there weren't missed opportunities along the way. For Chris Collinsworth, I'm Tom Hammond.